Hi friends. Welcome to eConcepts. Today, I will let you know the core differences between a control group and an experimental group studied in research mythology. Let's move on with the control group first. In research, the control group is like the comparison group that doesn't receive the treatment or intervention being studied. It serves as a baseline for comparison. On the other hand, the experimental group is the group that receives the treatment or intervention, allowing researchers to assess its specific effects by comparing it to the control group. Now, we'll discuss a very simple example to clear our concept. Let's say a researcher wants to examine the impact of a new teaching method on students' performance in mathematics. So, we have two teaching methods here. First is the conventional teaching method that is being used already. You may assume that in conventional teaching method, only teacher is delivering the lecture and students are just listening. Second is the new teaching method whose impact on the students we want to know. You may assume that in new teaching method, students are also participating on teaching activities. Now the control group would consist of students who are taught using the traditional teaching method, while the experimental group would be taught using the new method. By comparing the performance of the two groups, the researcher can assess the effectiveness of the new teaching method. As we talked earlier, the experimental group receives intervention. In this example, experimental group is receiving intervention in terms of the new teaching method while the control group is receiving no intervention here. It is going with the same conventional method. Next are some core differences between a control group and an experimental group. A control group does not receive an intervention while experimental group receives the intervention. Secondly, control group serves as a baseline for comparison. While experimental group is used to measure the specific effects of the treatment. Thirdly, control group helps assessing natural changes while experimental group evaluates intervention's effects. At number four, control group helps controlling the extraneous variables while experimental group helps isolating and attributes the effects to the treatment. That's all from my side. I hope you have understood the topic. Please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.